Once vaccination started uh, across the country on uh, 16th of Jan this year for healthcare providers, then it extended to frontline workers. Then from 1st of March, uh, it uh, was give, provided to the general population above 60 years and above 45 with comorbidities. Then from 1st uh, April, uh, it, uh, is, it was extended to all above 45 years. Mm -hmm. uh, if we look at the scenario of uh, public uh, acceptance of the vaccine. Initially, there were some reluctance among the people, public uh, having some misconceptions or myths about the vaccination. But now people are coming mm, very enthusiastically. If you look at our uh, immunization clinics, you see big lines of people coming for vaccination. Every day, the number is increasing. So more and more people are coming for vaccination. And uh, from 1st May, when the vaccination will be made uh, available for all adult population that's 18 and above years we believe that more and more people should come for vaccination uh, vaccination has two roles i would like to say that number one it gives immunity to the, to the person and secondly it will try to build up the uh, what we call as herd immunity uh, so as we look at the uh, covid waves we had seen the first wave last year it took a lot of time but with the second wave, it came in a sh short duration of time. The p its spikes are quite going high, quite fast, and uh, we have apprehensions that we may have further waves in future. And uh, just to stop those waves to emerge, we need to get our population wholly vaccinated. Whole of our population need to get vaccinated. Then only we will be able to thwart the third wave. So again, the second point about the vaccination is that those people who have received vaccine, even if they get COVID infection, their symptoms will be very minimal, very minimal than those who are, have, who are not uh, getting vaccinated. So in this present scenario, people should come, get themselves vaccinated so that even if they get the infection, their symptoms will be quite minimal as if they have a common cold. And secondly, this will prevent uh, occurrence of the third wave. For COVID, there is hardly a standard drug that has been proven to be highly effective. There are some drugs in the market. They have been given uh, to patients who have severe to moderate, uh, moderate to severe type of illness. And if they are given at early stage, then only they can help. It has been found that they reduce the duration stay of their stay in the hospital by few days say if otherwise it takes two weeks it may come down to 10 or 11 days but mortality doesn't uh, get affected it doesn't reduce mortality so and people are getting unnecessarily panicked with the uh, call for getting drugs like remdesivir or other drugs uh, which necessarily every person doesn't need so people need to understand that every covid patient doesn't need uh, those uh, high rated drugs they can be managed symptomatically with uh, drugs for treating their mild symptoms and uh, there are some antiviral drugs which are being prescribed and following those drugs they can take care of their illness.